Oh, good. Are you all set? Yeah. So, semi off topic question for you. BYU's, there's an announcement made a couple weeks ago about BYU's walk ons getting their scholarships essentially funded through the NIL. Is that a big deal, a small deal? Is that something you guys have talked about? How do you, how do you see that impacting recruiting? Uh, I mean, that's, that's good for them. You know, I mean, every school is a little different because the tuition is a little different, right? So, uh, you know, I don't know what theirs is or nothing like that. Uh, it's hard for me to truly comment on what they're doing over there because I'm so focused on what we're doing here. In a situation where through NIL, players, whether it's scholarship or not, are getting their, their college tuition funded, do you think that promotes trying to build a roster that is 115 scholarship guys versus the 85 you'd be allowed? Do you see that as a potential problem? Uh, no, because I mean, some of these guys nowadays that, you know, sign to a school, they have 50 offers. Right, so they still gonna pick and choose what's the best decision for them and their family. So, I mean, it doesn't really change too much in my opinion because if the player is, you know, a top tier, really good player, not to say some of those guys aren't, but they're gonna sign with the school that they choose is best fit for them. With Josh and ITS closed out, how does that affect it at all, that battle for that second quarterback spot? Uh, it doesn't affect it at all, in my opinion. I think, uh, you know, um, guys are just stepping up, right? And reps are reps. So as long as guys get in there and they're showing that they all, you know, believe in one another and they all able to play together. So, I mean, I think in, in the long haul, it's helping us as far as depth and everything else. So I'm very pleased with the way that we're going. It seems like ITS, just hearing other people talk about it, have made some big leaps in the offseason. Where have you seen those changes maybe most? Uh, mentally. Uh, so, like, his mindset as a whole, you know, not to say he wasn't positive before, but now you see it on his face. Smiling a lot. Uh, communication has definitely picked up a lot. I think he's more comfortable with, I mean, he's always probably comfortable with SC, but I think he's even more comfortable with me and the new coaches and, you know, his true role on the team. He's always had the physical skills. Correct, correct, correct. The physical skills is one thing, but the mental is a whole different part of the game. You know, like they always say, the game is 90% mental and 10% physical. So to say he only had 10% in the game is not good, you know. <laughs> So he's definitely, his mental side has definitely caught up with his physical attributes. In terms of that mental side, where would you say those freshman corners have been at? Uh, I, I think they're learning that in college, it's about consistency. You know, it's about basically being able to come out here and compete on a day-to-day -day basis. In high school, you know, you may have a, one scholarship receiver, you know, pretty much on your whole team. You know, on our team alone, we may have like 11. Right, so every rep is gonna count, every rep's gonna matter, and just the speed in which we play. You may be a little sore, you may be a little tired, but yet you're still covering a 50 yard fade to Drake London. So, I mean, just the, the consistency and the, you know, the battle and the competition out here. Speaking of Drake, what have you thought of just the general battles between and Chris Steele, the first uh, it's the Belenikoff against the Thorpe. So, you know, every play is, uh, you know, a battle of the Titans, and I look forward to it. You know, you're starting to see more and more of that, and, and guys, they like competing against each other. So it's going every now and then probably get a little chippy because they're both really, really competitive guys. And, you know, I look forward to it because if they're giving each other's best every day in this practice field, then, you know, the game should be easy. seems like with Chris, that's kind of an army. He drives it. Uh, he does, but you'd be shocked because so does Drake. So he's the same kind of person, right? You just don't see it as much, but yeah. Drake is the same fiery as Chris. So it's good because they get a chance to go against each other a lot in practice. One of the guys, he doesn't practice with you daily. This guy over here, Greg Johnson. This, it seems like he's really stood out to me. And I was talking to uh, John Jackson about kind of a dog on, on defense and how tough he's looked. Have you seen the progression of Greg Johnson? Uh, is a Craig Niver question? Uh, no, I, I think the, the biggest thing, I mean, it could be anybody question on defense. I think uh, the biggest thing you see with him is going into a leader, you know, just his leadership role. You know, last year it was kind of hard because COVID and everything else, we weren't really, you know, we didn't get a chance to really truly jail as a staff, as a team, you know, just we kind of went out there and just played. And then, you know, he had an unfortunate injury, so he never got a truly chance to step into the leadership role. And I think now guys have, you know, they already have respect for him, but when you see somebody come back from injury and as hard as he worked to come back, and then you saw the things once he was back, what he was doing in the weight room and the conditioning and what he's already doing on his field. He already had guys respect, but now they truly see it. So he's, he's definitely stepped into a leadership role. Is that a position where you need to have maybe a little extra toughness? Uh, 
No, but it's definitely a position where you got to have a lot of smarts. I think to play on our defense anyway, you have to have a lot of toughness, right? So to be a USC and, you know, everything that comes with it, you have to have tough skin. You have to be a tough person. The competition we're going to play and what we ask. But one thing, like I say, with him just as a whole, at that position, you have to be extremely, extremely smart because one play you may be a linebacker, next play a safety, next play a corner. You got to be good at all those things. Thank you.